this will be the last video uh, for this book in its playlist. Uh, by now I have read the whole book and I've also done many problems. Uh, in this video I'm going to be talking about some of the problems that I did in here. Uh, there's a chunk of other problems in the appendices uh, for cardinal numbers and for series and sequences. But I'm going to leave these here because I know that these are covered uh, in other books that I'm doing for the Baby Rudin Project. And I may come back to these problems, but not in a video. I'm just going to do them as part of the broader Baby Rudin Project that this uh, book was read in. So I'll go over the problems and then I'll give a little summary at the end uh, for this book. So I continue to work on section 5.5. Um, and uh, there's a lot of work on Kashi sequences, uh, Kashi completion, uh, of course the Kashi completion of the, uh, of the rationals is the real number field. Uh, so some limits, sequences, uh, bounds, and uh, subsets, isomorphisms, um, ways to uh, to converge on specific values for closed sets and open sets uh, the axiom of choice this a little bit of chat GPT which is uh, as always tricky um, a little bit about the Sigma Sigma algebra something that I'm very interested in very curious in but it's an advanced topic that's outside of the realm of this book but it just came up as part of my chat GPT lookups um, Then I, uh, I did a couple of hard problems, and uh, it was very interesting because in one of them, uh, problem number 20 in section 5.7, at first I tried a brute force of writing the proof, and I even thought I was done, and I moved on to 21, and then I was like, no, no I'm not, I'm not done. And I went back and I realized that the proof which says, an ordered field F is complete if and only if every bounded sequence in F has a convergent subsequence, I was like, I know I've seen that before. It's called the bolzano weierstrass uh, theorem. But then uh, I realized, I think I did, that actually what I'm really trying to, to figure out first is the equivalence between the bolzano weierstrass property, as uh, written in the book, every bounded infinite subset of F has an accumulation point, and the theorem, so the, the property and the theorem. And so I worked out, I'm not sure that I did it correctly in the sense that I just said it, whereas perhaps there has to be some sequences and some values to, to put in here. And in that case, if I, did, if I didn't do that, then I got it wrong. But I, the key to the problem is to set up this equivalence. And then when you set up this equivalence, you can go into the theorem. Uh, the theorem that tells you that F is complete. So... Now, mark some of these pages. Um, where are we? This is problem 20. Yeah, right here. So it would be this theorem. And so sure enough, if you get to the point where you've proven uh, that the Bolsano virus stress property is true, then you can go in, se in, in theorem 7.6 and come out with F being complete. And I think that's what, and then the other way too, because A and C are equivalent in both ways. Uh, that took a while, and uh, I'm hoping that I got it wrong. Then I did a couple more hard problems, and, uh, and I called it quits. That's it. I, I think I've done uh, enough problems in this book for now. I'm going to move on to other books. And so there you have it. And then now I'll just give a little summary of this book because I know that uh, from the videos that I've, that I've made of it uh, it hasn't gotten a lot of play. Now I'm not sure that that should matter to you. I mean not every book that I treat in this uh, in this uh, YouTube channel should be uh, of the broadest interest but I found that this book was very useful to me and I think it could be to you, uh, to, to the general viewer. Uh, because number systems, uh, I've seen in all these analysis books, get treated, get very little treatment 
um, because of course people want to move to differentiation and integration. But I found that the treatment in this book where, where it starts from piano systems uh, and it really builds, it builds N, then it, uh, it builds it builds the, the uh, natural numbers with piano systems, then the integers, then the rationals, and then the reals. I, I found that that was very interesting. I also learned about what a zero divisor is. I learned about what an integral domain is. And so it starts with ring, commutative ring, integral domain, ordered integral domain, then field, ordered field. And now when I read statements in Baby Rudin that are written the way this book is written, I see where, where they're coming from, what, what's behind all that. Uh, another thing that I really like about the book, so I'm just going through these little markers. Uh, and so another thing that I really like about the book is how the field axioms are treated very thor thoroughly, starting with the properties of the field and then going through the axioms. Uh, so yeah, I found that uh, I like the way it was done here. And the way uh, Mendelssohn writes is superb. Really, really superb. Then also, yeah, cuts. How cuts work out at Dedekind cuts. Finally, I think I understand them. And there's a really beautiful proof in here of the gap in, in, uh, in the rationals. And actually, this maps pretty well to a proof that is done in Bardo and Sherbert coming at it from a completely different angle. Uh, so yeah, very nice. Then also, uh, th then for me, really, after all that, the meat of the book for my own use is everything between sections 5.5, Convergence Sequences and Cauchy Sequences, section 5.6, Cauchy Completion and the Real Number System, and then last but not least, Elementary Topology of the Real Number System. And so the, and the, there's two theorems in, in this book, uh, large equivalence theorems, that I found super, super useful. So, theorem 7.6, which has these properties, complete, hein borel bolzano warstrass and then I believe it's uh, 5.9, yeah, right here, 5.9, which is completeness, um, um, monotonic, Archimedean plus nested, Archimedean plus Cauchy completion. So these two equivalence theorems and their proofs, I am pretty sure I will read them again because I know when I was reading in Conway point set topology, he's got something like this theorem and I could read this and I totally understand it. So I'm glad that I, that I have a completely readable and understandable version.